Hello, Jeepers here again with 4GQTV. Now, I'm a huge fan of horror games and movies alike, so when I saw the trailer for the chant, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Although, I did read some early reviews saying the game was not up to par with other single player horror titles, but I simply couldn't disagree more. And the chant is an example of exactly why I review games myself, because I had an absolute blast with my playthrough leading me to believe that you should really judge a game for yourself. Keeping that in mind, let's get into this review. The Chant, developed by Brass Token and published by Prime Matter, is a single-player action horror game where you play as Jess, a young woman struggling with the terrible memories of the past. She decides to take a weekend vacation to a remote island and visit a friend on a spiritual retreat. On the island, she participates in a spiritual ritual that unlocks something called the gloom. It feeds on negative energy and everything terrifying inside of you. It's your job to uncover the secrets of the island and its dark history, all while trying to stay alive and fight off the gloom and the horrifying evil it spawns. The developers even go as far as saying the game was inspired by the psychedelic horror of the 1970s. I truly enjoyed the chant. Although it pushed no limits, it still was a breath of fresh air. So let me start with the puzzles. They were intriguing, but weren't too difficult. Much of the game is linear, so each puzzle will push your path forward. They include things like repairing a lighthouse, or finding keys to unlock doors, and even pouring the right mixture into an irrigation system. Now, the combat system was rather unique, and I absolutely loved it. Fighting with spiritual weapons and abilities was a cool twist to the game. Using the collected materials found around the island, you can craft your arsenal, such as burning sage, throwable oils, and salt. Something else that was very interesting was your mind, body, and spirit stats. These played a key role in the combat and gameplay, with your body being your health meter, spirit used for special abilities or meditation, and mind being Jess's mental state. If your mind meter gets low, well, things turn ugly. As far as the controls go, they felt good and everything was mapped out well. I liked how I could easily craft items on the go. And then there was the boss fights. They were fantastic, even extremely intense at times with each one being a unique encounter. But I do have a few criticisms. Although I loved what I played, I found that the game was on the rather short side. Also, the fast travel system was not the best I have seen implemented. On top of that, I found no reason to use it other than to go back and obtain lost documents. And for one last critique, I didn't find the upgrade system all that interesting. The Chant is a beautiful game with an outright spooky atmosphere at times. The art style and animations of the enemies in this title really gave off a Stranger Things vibe with the gloom adding that extra effect to the game that really draws you into the story. Now, I read a few comments that the voice acting wasn't up to par, but again, I have to disagree. I thought it was fantastic. I have heard much, much worse. Also, the sound effects were brilliant too. There really is a lot to take in, from the storms in the distance to the pounding of Jess's heart. Oh, and let me not forget the wonderful soundtrack that accompanied the game as well. The Chant is a spooky and unique single-player horror game that deserves to be played. I won't lie, it's on the rather short side for the price, but it's a fantastic title nonetheless. I can easily score The Chant an 8 out of 10. If this is a game that interests you, it's available on PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. Thanks for watching, and if you want more great content like this, please like and subscribe to 4GQ TV.